CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 4.5, Summarize Environmental Impacts and Local Environmental Controls. With this video segment, we're diving into a topic that doesn't just make you a better IT professional, it makes you a more eco-conscious one too. Managing IT equipment isn't only about keeping things running, it's about making smarter choices that reduce environmental impacts and ensure the longevity of your gear. From properly disposing of outdated devices, to controlling the environment where your equipment operates, and guarding against power issues, these practices are vital for responsible IT management. So let's start with the basics, how we handle, and dispose of the tools and materials that power our technology. Many items, like batteries and toner cartridges, or older equipment, like CRT monitors, can't just be tossed into the trash, they require special disposal methods. That's where material safety data sheets come in. Think of a material safety data sheet as the ultimate cheat sheet for handling potentially hazardous materials. A material safety data sheet, or MSDS for short, is a detailed document that provides essential information about the properties of a material, its potential hazards, safe handling and storage requirements, as well as disposal practices. It even includes guidance on dealing with fire risks, explosion dangers, and first aid measures. Whether you're figuring out how to recycle a laptop battery or dispose of an old CRT monitor, a material safety data sheet ensures you're doing it safely and responsibly. Now, let's look at a few real-world examples. Batteries, especially those utilizing lithium-ion technology, can be a ticking time bomb if handled improperly. They can leak toxic chemicals or even catch fire when thrown in the trash. That's why they should always be recycled at certified facilities equipped to handle hazardous waste. Toner cartridges might seem harmless, but they're e-waste too. Many manufacturers offer recycling programs that make it easy to return and process them safely. And don't forget those old CRT monitors gathering dust in the back of the office. They contain harmful materials like lead, so they must go to an e-waste facility to ensure safe and legal disposal. Once you've cleared out the old junk, it's time to turn your attention to the environment in which your current IT equipment resides. Monitoring and controlling environmental factors, such as temperature, humidity, and ventilation, can have a direct impact on hardware longevity. Heat is the enemy of electronics, so keeping your devices cool is essential. In high-demand areas like data centers, proper cooling systems can prevent thermal stress that damages components. Humidity is another environmental factor that can impact IT equipment. Too much humidity, and you risk condensation and corrosion, too little, and static electricity can wreak havoc on sensitive circuitry. Therefore, maintaining a balance is necessary to preserve the health of your gear. Moving on from temperature and humidity, ventilation is equally as important. Cramming devices together or blocking airflow is a surefire way to shorten the lifespan of IT equipment. Make sure your equipment has room to breathe. Alongside proper ventilation is dust, the silent killer. Dust particles might seem trivial, but they clog fans and vents, leading to overheating. A quick blast of compressed air, or a gentle sweep with a vacuum, designed specifically for use with electronics, can do wonders for your setup. When you properly control environmental factors, such as temperature, humidity, and ventilation, your hardware will thank you, with smoother performance, and fewer breakdowns. Next, let's talk about power problems. At this point in our learning journey, we can group power problems into three simple categories, low voltage, high voltage, and no voltage. Low voltage or under voltage events, where the power supply dips below normal levels, can cause devices to underperform, shut down unexpectedly, or even suffer long-term damage. These disruptions come in two forms, SAGs, which are brief dips, and brownouts, which last longer. The solution? A battery backup, or uninterruptible power supply. This handy device steps in to provide stable power during these dips, keeping your equipment running and your data safe. High voltage or over voltage events, on the other hand, involve too much power flowing through the system. Spikes are sudden bursts, while surges are prolonged and more destructive. Both can fry circuits in an instant. That's why a surge suppressor is a must have for every setup. It absorbs excess energy and shields your equipment from harm. Finally, we have no voltage events, where power cuts out entirely. A fault might cause a momentary disruption, 
but a blackout can last much longer and lead to hardware damage or data loss. An uninterruptible power supply is critical here, as it can provide enough power to keep your systems running for a brief period of time. If the blackout occurs for an extended period of time, you may find that your uninterruptible power supply is not enough. At this point, you might need to consider a generator to maintain operations long term. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.